Joining us live to talk about the monkeypox outbreak is infectious disease expert Dr. David Wall from UNC. Dr. Wall, the state just changed its monkeypox vaccine guidance, opening up the vaccine to a wider group of people. Will this tell us how much is actually spread, how much it has spread in North Carolina? Yeah, Gerald, I think there's a few things that are going on at the same time, which is good. So there's more testing available and more testing will help us figure out just how many people have monkeypox in North Carolina, especially in the communities where we're starting to see that there are a lot of cases, like we mentioned in the Charlotte area in Joe's report. So I think testing's number one. Vaccination is really important so we can start nipping at the number of cases. We don't want them to continue to rise. And if we vaccinate people who are at the highest risk, I think we can attenuate that spread of monkeypox in some of these communities. You know, we constantly tell people this is not COVID. It is spread in a completely different way. Because of that, how easy of an outbreak is this to contain? You know, we can do it. We're, we're getting a late start. This has been around for a while. I don't think we have a good handle on the numbers. Clearly, there's more than 34 people in North Carolina who have monkeypox. The good news for us is that this is a self-limited infection in most people, meaning it gets better by itself. So some people may have it get better and never even get tested because they didn't think much of it because they had a very mild case. But others could get more sick. And we're worried about what happens when this starts to spread into children, into pregnant women, and elderly or immunocompromised people. So that's what we really have to get a handle on. So more widespread testing, including in communities of color. Not everyone wants to go to a health department to get tested or to get a vaccine. We have to go to meet people where they are, especially some of the folks who right now are at higher risk to prevent more and more of us from getting infected. The World Health Organization just declared this outbreak a public health emergency. Is this overblown? I mean, how worried should we be? I think this is really important because this is a great time to think about this. And, and, and just as you mentioned, this is not widespread. This is not COVID-19. So do you declare an emergency when it reaches that point? Or do you recognize the potential for this to spread broadly, more so than it has already. So I think they did the right thing. And I think the director made a good choice in saying this is an emergency right now. Let's be proactive. Let's not wait. Remember with COVID-19, it took two meetings of the WHO before they finally declared COVID you know, an international emergency. So I think this is proactive. I think it's the right thing to do. We should take action now. So I'm not worried about this. You and your family, they don't have to be worried about this. Right now, we're finding this spread in certain networks. But if we don't act now and do the right thing per public health guidelines and the playbook that we've had before, um, then I think we are going to be dealing with a bigger problem. And we don't need to do that. I have just a few seconds left. Real quickly, how can people protect themselves? So again, I think Joe did a good, good job of going through the criteria right now for vaccination. Those are the highest risk people. So folks who are men who have sex with men, transgender individuals, people who are having sexual partners who they don't know well, I, I think you have to look out for any sort of signs or symptoms of monkeypox. That means an unexplained lesion, something that looks different on your skin than before. So really just being aware. So many people I talk to who are at risk don't really even know about this. So getting more information out, as we heard from Wake County, I think is really important. Absolutely. Dr. David Wall with UNC Health, thank you as always for your perspective.